Mr. Vitale, the pressure is on both teams in this third round tournament game between the Louisville Cardinals and the Virginia Cavaliers. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Cavaliers should be in for what looks like an insurmountable battle, Dick. What are the keys for them to get a victory tonight? Well, there's a few things that they absolutely have to do. First, make sure you get a hand up on every outside shot. Get a hand in their face. Second of all, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. And lastly, it's imperative that you win the battle on the board. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. The Cavaliers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Gets it to fall. Here's a flash from the high post. Strips the ball. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Leans in. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. High post flashes for the opportunity. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. At a momentary look from three point land. Number 44 gets the pass. He puts up the three ball. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Gave it up. He tries a jump hook. And in and out. High post flashes. And up. Great play to take that to the basket. Number 44 is emotionally pumped up. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. He puts it in with contact and all. High post flashes for the ball handler. They move it into the front court. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Almost lost the basketball. Inside, number 44 has got the people in the bleachers up in appreciation. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. A high screen. He takes the board. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player is going to be an exceptional passer. He'll regroup the offense. Step out of that screener. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They will line them up. First one, good. Both free throws go. They work it around the arc. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. There's the pick. There's the roll. Sinks it. High post flasher is open. Inside. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby. Out of control. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. The center with the ball. Turns it over. 
Working it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Trying to pack it inside. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Fed the low block. A little frustration right there. Number 34 gets the ball. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> From the top of the key. Oh, yes. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. He gets the rejection. With anticipation defensively. This should be an easy bucket. Looking for the foul. Number 34 with a finger roll. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Number 44 takes the feed. Off the rim and no good. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He shoots from the top of the circle. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. There's a double team waiting there. On the dribble, gives it up. Unloads. The Cavaliers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Look at that spacing. He looks at the hoop. He shoots from downtown, way off target. Number 21 takes the pass. Pass down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Well, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Here we go on the break. And the ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. He's got a high post flasher. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Up and inside. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Two. Can't get the shot to drop. And he'll kick it back outside. He tries to knock down the three. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from long range. He knocks down another bucket. This kid's got skills, Brad.
Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. From downtown, the Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Yeah, he's on fire. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A uh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Goes up for two, and off the mark. He's going nowhere. Going Ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. He looks for the bomb. The Cavaliers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. The Cardinals, according to the ESPN polls, are among the top teams in the country. I'm certain that their opponents will be all over them in this game. When your team is not one of the top-ranked teams. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He's got an open look for the shot. From the top of the circle. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet jug. Here's a flash from the post up high. Tries for two. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. <laughs> Got a wide open look. He lets it fly. The Cavaliers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Both teams looking to get things going here. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He bombs from outside. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Defense giving some room. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it back to the outside. He launches a three. Way off target. They work it around the perimeter. On the inside. Number four draws the personal. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Two shots. Gets it. Louisville are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Louisville was a longtime member, of course, of Conference USA. Made the jump to the Big East not that long ago. Hey, I don't want to say that the Big East is the better conference, but they do garner that additional attention as a Big East school. Jumped in front to take it away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nick, this is what we look forward to all year long, the NCAA tournament in the first half that's just close. I'll tell you one thing, quality performances by both clubs. They are really responding and playing right at the right moment. I think that old cliche really jumps here. It's going to be really sad that one of these clubs are going to be bye-bye and out of the NCAA. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. For the bucket, you betcha. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay.
the pass in the paint with the fake. Here's a double team. He dials long distance. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to move up. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets that one to fall. Gave it up. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dick, he's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Number 34 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's him a nylon, NBN. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Number four makes a great move to draw the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. At the line. Gets his first. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. On the outside, they've left him completely alone. Off the rim and no good. They'll work it around the arc. Way out on top. Makes the block. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. Got a nice screen. The Cavaliers have got to continue to get him the ball. That is on fire. He fakes the shot. And he'll kick it back outside. He's open if he wants the shot. Way off target. They work the perimeter. He fires it up. Drains the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting post position, good angle, and then the drop step. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Picks off the pass. He strokes it. He's money with the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Perfectly executed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Look at this, Mr. Nestler. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He unloads off the rim and no good. He hits it. They work it around the perimeter. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Number 43 is encouraging the fans to keep cheering. Hey, Brad, he's looking for some additional encouragement for this offensive possession. He launches the bomb. He couldn't get it to fall. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They give it a racer. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Something inside. Gave it up. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. He nails the bucket. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? He gets the rebound. They work it around the perimeter from three-point territory. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. At halftime, the Cavaliers trail by nine. Well, Dick, so far we've got a close one. Any play that sticks out to you as the highlight of the half? Watch the great work here on the inside for the score. I expect both these teams to do more of the same and continue to pound the ball inside in the second half. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. Virginia has a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them having a first half, Dick. I must admit it. I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Erin. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming up, baby. On the outside, he throws up the shot. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. The ball handler might be in trouble here. 
And in and out. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Will take the shot. Way off target. Turnaround jumper. In and out. For two, and he missed. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Takes the pass in the paint. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Up and inside! The shooting guard receives the ball. Doesn't go. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from right of the circle. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot select. Double team now, that angle. Robs him of the ball. With a jump hook and off the mark. They work the perimeter. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. There they are on the low block. On the move inside. And the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep. And he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Tries for two. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. In the paint. Let's it fly. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. He goes with a baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The center handles the feed. There they come with a double team to stop it. It's stolen. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Open look if he wants it. Rims out. Dump it inside. The shooting guard handles the pass. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. He can't miss. And this young man's feeling it, Brad. They're working around the arc. Jumps in. Virginia are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. 
They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He shoots from the top of the key. Makes the shot. Let's rewind that. to pick up the defense here now. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. The point guard receives the pass. Busts the fadeaway J. Gave it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the outside. Tries for two. The Cavaliers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Defensive player was really right on top of that. There's a tough shot and one. He wanted that one, baby. He says you got a foul be harder than that. Nicky V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. He can't buy one. Goes and gets it. Then I've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The lane. With the free one. No rebounding that. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. But inside. They've got a player spotting up on the three. On the dribble, gives it up for the deuce. Virginia is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That's basic. He attempts the three, way off target. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Fires it. Off the rim and no good. Oh, down inside. Nobody rotated down from up on top. Good fake. That spin move's not going to work against a defense uh, like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Number one draws the personal. That is 
a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Virginia are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Fake. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. There was no doubt about that one. There's a double team waiting there. He takes it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Perfectly executed. For the bucket, in and out. He attempts a jump hook. Doesn't go. There it is, Jam City. That's an 8-0 run. Gave it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Louisville have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. Entry pass in the paint for two, and he missed. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Way off target. It's good. Dick, is the defense giving up? No, I just think they're being overwhelmed by this offensive display. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He pulls the trigger. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper.
Moving it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. With the shot. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. For the bucket. Off the mark. Down he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. the perimeter looking for a good shot has a nice look at the basket here's a double team number one is called for the foul third team foul well, there's a turnover situation I guess most notable the number of points off turnover well Mr. Nestle that's why you want to take care of the basketball you want to protect it turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end that's one statistic which coaches always monitor Offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Fakes it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I'll tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He buries it. <laughs> Tries for two. Contact causes the shot to come off. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Number 34 steps to the charity line. Makes the first shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Buries it. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Dump it inside. Number 44 with the fake. Nice fake. It rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Ten seconds to put up a shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He goes for three. You bet. One on the shot clock. They'll work it around the arc. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Look at that spacing. Now they work it around the perimeter. The fake. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Controlling the ball. He shoots. Off the rim and no good. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play.
Goes up for two. Rims out. He tries a jump hook. Virginia are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. With a jump hook, he's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. They work the perimeter. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Moving it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Watch this break right here. For the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Cross court. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron who's standing by. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Play about ready to resume. I knew this was going to be a dandy, baby. The lead is down to three. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Gotta make that, baby. Had that wide open angle. Had a chance to lay it on the glass with an easy deuce. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. They have to foul to send them to the line and hope they miss. I gotta be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a cap delay. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Sinks it. It's a three-point deficit. And that can change in a matter of seconds, baby. Hold on. He lets it fly. Can't put it down. And yet another foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Number 21 is going to the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. Hits his second. They really need a score here to turn this into a one possession game. Ready to 
get back to the action. The lead is five. What happens now, Dick? Well, this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game. And now they'll bring it up. Foul, and that stops the clock again. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Sinks it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, did you? Well, they're making the most of the free ones. See if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here. Nick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. He tries the three ball, rims out. Here they go into the break. Nick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Virginia makes it three in a row with an impressive third-round victory. Hey, the way they're playing, Brad, this team is going to be hard to deal with entering the Elite Eight. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.